up YouTube? Welcome back to Jordan's Guitar Channel. I'm your host Jordan. Today we're going to be talking about your pick size matters. Now what are you talking about dude? So I'm talking about the size of your guitar pick as it pertains to playing metal guitar. So I discovered this years ago when I was playing jazz guitar and as I watch, I watch YouTube every single day and I don't really see this talked about too much is what guitar pick are you using? Uh, now for me, I like these Planet Ways Black Ice 1.5 millimeter um, Black Ice guitar picks. Um, I'll show you the package they come in. Extra heavy gauge. They're made of Duralin. And I can tell you from experience I've been playing these for many years. It has a fairly sharp point, but it's it's not super sharp. It gives you a really fast attack, and the pick really doesn't wear out. Um, I've got some of these picks that are like four years old that I'm still using, and it gives you a very sharp, bright attack. And you wonder, dude, that's a small guitar pick, man. Yeah, well, I have pretty small hands. And I've noticed when I'm able to hold the guitar pick like that, and it gives me opportunity to be closer to the strings, closer when I'm palm muting, and it gives me a more precise playing style because of how little the guitar pick is actually coming out between my thumb and forefinger, that I, it, it forces you to play more precise. So. <laughs> super precise, super tight. Now one, one of the reasons you want a guitar pick that doesn't have any type of give to it is you're going to have a sharper, more precise attack to the string itself. Now most of us in the modern metal world, we're using pretty thick gauge strings. Uh, you know, pretty much nobody's using nines anymore. We're using, if you are using a 10 set, you probably have a 52 or a 54 up top or on the low string rather. Um, so you need something with a little bit of, you know, oof behind it. Something to really chug on that low, heavy string. And, you know, a lot of people are going heavier than that and tuning down to, like, all these crazy tunings and stuff like that. If you want to get a brighter, more precise attack, you're going to need a guitar pick like this that's going to attack the strings and cut through with those lower frequencies and tunings. Now what prompted me to make this video is I found somebody had given me this years ago. It's the Ernie Ball John Pertucci Prodigy. And if you notice, it is, sorry guys, stuff is moving around. It is very, very similar. You know, it's, it's not quite the jazz style pick. This is like a shrunken down regular guitar pick. It is two millimeters. I don't know what the material is, it doesn't say. But it's very thick and it's got a very sharp point. So let's check this one out and see if there's any type of difference. Let's see what the old bearded master is using. <laughs> John Petrucci, going back to my black eye. Wow. So that's my first time playing these two back to back. And there actually is a little bit of a difference. There's like a, a more sharper attack. Um, and I bet it's the pointiness of this thing. I mean, it, it, it actually is like painful when you're doing that. Very interesting. 
So we're learning some new stuff here. So these picks are very expensive. Uh, and they've had, they have a nice texture on them as well. That's something else that's really important when you play in metal. Uh, the black ice as well has a... They look shiny and slick, but they never leave your hands. I don't know what kind of coating they put on them. They don't really say, but they stick really well. Um, and this has a more aggressive type of tex uh, texture on the pick itself. On... on <laughs> I dropped it. I'm super professional. So on, on the side where it says Ernie Ball Prodigy, on the back it's it's just slick. But on here it's it's very textured. Now we're gonna move on to something. So this is just your average Joe Schmo guitar pick. This is what I use on the acoustic. And you can see it bends quite a bit. Now let's try to play metal with this thing and see what happens. <laughs> but there's a very distinct pick noise coming through. When you're recording, I would imagine that would come through. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna come through on this camera setup, but I'll, I'll play acoustic with you in here. Hear that? That sounds awful. So let's go back to the black ice, my pick of choice. See how much quieter that is? How much more precise? You're not hearing the pick, you're just hearing the guitar string. That sounds awesome. So yeah, uh, pick size matters, guys. Um, picks are fairly cheap. You know, you may not like a pick this small. Um, you may prefer the Prodigy or something similar to it. Um, I'm really digging the Prodigy, man. I've been a Black Eyes guy, like I said, for five to seven years, somewhere in there. Um, I may pick up a few of these and play with them some more. I really do enjoy them. But, you know, if you guys are looking for a tighter, thicker, more precise tone or your playing style, change up your guitar pick, man. Because, you know, if you're using something like this or something that's really thin it's going to make a lot of extra noise you're not going to get that tight precise type of tone that you're looking for and um, you know experiment a little bit and one last thing um, if you guys have a lot of trouble like there's all these like gimmicks now where these guitar picks have like holes and different type of textures and etc etc but you may not like the pick itself so if you find a pick that you really really like uh, and you have trouble if it's slipping through your hands. Something I used to do when I used to play live a lot, um, I would buy a roll of skateboard tape off Amazon for like 10 bucks. And you just basically take your pick and cut off a little piece of skateboard tape to where it's covering up where your thumb and forefinger are gonna do it. You can do it on both sides if you want. And you just take your hair dryer and heat it up and then just hold it on there and you have instant grip on your guitar pick. A little free tip for you guys. So anyways, hey, thank you guys for stopping by and checking out the video. Um, thanks again to the new subscribers coming out and helping to grow this thing. Um, new stuff is coming. As always, life's crazy. So I get these videos out when I can. I appreciate you guys watching. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like what I'm doing, come out and subscribe. and. Hit the notification bell, all that stuff. You guys know what to do. Um, come hang out with this man. Like I said, I answer all the comments. And, um, you know, we'll hang out and have fun together. So, I'll see you soon, guys. And as always, much metal, much love, and much peace. Later, guys.